what part of writing is, is difficult for me. And um, I, I would just say every part. Author Tama Janowitz is still considered one of the hip chroniclers of urban life. She wrote Slaves of New York, the 1986 collection of short stories about New York artists, which became a 1989 movie and put Janowitz on the literary map. To be writing books at the end of the 20th century, I just want to record the way morals and manners and life is. Life for 30-something Janowitz changed this year when she and husband Tim Hunt adopted Willow, an infant from China. How did you decide that you wanted to adopt a baby from China? My heart just went out to the to the Chinese babies because they don't want girls over there. And I admire the Chinese for keeping a zero population growth, but and nevertheless, they, they would prefer to have boys, so they dumped the girls. They dumped the girls, and I wanted one. Janowitz took time out from motherhood to promote her fifth book, By the Shores of Gichigumi. Although she said she'd never run out of subject matter in Manhattan, she temporarily left the city behind to tell the quirky tale of a woman living in a trailer home with her five kids. My books, they're very bleak and, but, and very humorous, and I feel life is bleak, but if you can't laugh at it, there's almost no reason to go on enduring it. Knowing she writes for a select audience, Janowitz was apprehensive about unveiling her new work. But you do have people out there. You do have a couple ladies that were here at 6 o'clock. Oh, dear. Do they look like they could be serial killers? And I just was getting more and more nervous because this is it. You know, I don't have a big following, but those that I do have could be dangerous. Could be Budweiser, the drink of s struggling writers. Shall I pour for you? Thanks, Dennis. With a well-fortified cup of coffee in hand, Janowitz braves her crowd. Please, a warm welcome for Tama Janowitz. Ever since the days when she had weekly dinner dates with the late Andy Warhol, who supported her early career, Janowitz has been welcomed most anywhere in New York's trendy nightlife scene. But things aren't the same without Andy. He was a part of the city, and so much of the city has vanished in a kind of homogenization. Of Is going out in New York in the 90s as good as it was in the 80s? I need to know. Well, um, I'm afraid that I've lost some of my joie de vivre. I've been I've been beaten down by, by life and, and, and the elements. And um, yeah, I still have fun. I still have fun. From New York City, I'm Eric Allen reporting.